I haven't watched this yet because I was waiting to watch it for the stream. But um, let's just appreciate this freeze frame here. I think that's that's perfect. Anyways, Candace Owens threatens to call the police on Marin Morris. Quote, maybe you're going to help your child transition so that you can hold him up on stage and say, looky, looky, my child is trans. Please know that it will be Candace Owens, proud Karen number one, that will call the police. Well, at least she's finally admitting that she is a Karen because she is absolutely the embodiment of big Karen energy. Uh, BKE is what I believe the kids are calling it. No, I made that up. Uh, but she is going to attack this person. Now, Marin Morris, I'm not super familiar with her, but I do know that she is a country singer. And I found out about, about her because she came on my TikTok feed. And I don't know where she was, but she said something to the effect of, hey, I'm in Tennessee and I took my kid to a drag show or something, called the police on me. So she's remaining defiant. She is an LGBTQ plus ally. And of course, because of that, uh, Karen Owens hates her. So let's let's listen to this probably unhinged response here. You do need to go, Marin. It is just, the pandering here is just absolutely ridiculous. Why don't you go work on some songs, turn out some hits, and get people to want to follow you and admire you based on you living a wholesome life and based on you having actual talent, not based on you pandering to the LGBTQ plus community while disrespecting the fans that even put you in the position that you are in today. I mean, are you not doing the same thing, albeit in a different way? You're pandering to anti-LGBTQ plus people? I mean, Candace Owens is so insufferable. Like, every single word that she says, even if it's something banal that she's talking about, you can hear, like, the malice in her voice. Like, she just, she seems like a miserable person who hates everyone and everything. And I think that the reason why she is constantly, like, attacking trans people and LGBTQ plus people and everyone is because she's miserable and we're kind of like seeing that being externalized here but anyways let's let's listen music fans are disgusting you know that downloader music she's just saying for drag queens I, I just where i'm from where like people are downloading my music it's just like especially where i'm from is just so bad it's just like they're horrible people please accept me accept me so i mean if she's a country music singer is it in terms of like, I don't know, who your demographics would be, isn't it less likely to be LGBTQ plus people? I mean, it is brave of her to kind of defy the target demographic and say, no, actually, I do support queer people. I mean, I, look, I, I'm talking out of my ass here. I don't know anything about country music. Maybe it's changed. Maybe it's become a little bit more progressive. It's still not my cup of tea. But I just... Why are you so angry, Candace? Because somebody is affirming of queer people. It just, it doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense to me, right? Like if I saw a celebrity and they were affirming of something that I disagreed with, for example, conservatism, I would think, okay, I don't like that celebrity, but I'm not going to be like outraged to the point that Candace is where she's sitting here like seething almost. It, it's just so weird. I feel like normal people aren't this, this angry and, and unhinged quite frankly absolutely disgusting and i do hope that she keeps leaning into this because eventually she will trip herself up eventually she will admit to doing a crime which as we've seen happen over and over again people are so radical in theology that eventually they admit they've done something wrong and let me tell you something right now Marin morris when you do i will be the first one to call the police and contact the governor's office i am a proud karen a proud that's defense. also snitch too you're a snitch okay we don't respect snitches snitches get stitches fuck snitches so yeah of children. So when you take that next step, I don't know, maybe you're going to help your child transition so that you can hold them up on stage and say, looky, looky, my child is trans. Please know that it will be Candace Owens, proud Karen number one that will call the police on you and your husband. It'll be me. Probably Matt Walsh would try to beat me, but I will personally That's make fair. sure that I am the one that makes the first phone call. I mean, their view of trans people is just completely detached from reality. I mean, to think that, oh, you're going to try to make your kid trans to be all looky-looky, it doesn't work that way. I mean, <laughs> I, I feel like they just, they don't get it. And there was another clip from Charlie Kirk that went semi-viral where he's talking about how the TikTok algorithm is transing the kids because the Chinese government is trying to make kids trans as if China is like some huge ally to trans people. Um 
it doesn't work that way. You can't you can't make your kid be trans. Like let's say hypothetically speaking, you have this like super woke parent and they say, "Nope, I refuse to accept that my kid is cis. We're going to raise them as transgender." It doesn't work that way. They are who they are. Like I I feel like we we should be past this conversation because we had the same exact conversation when it comes to homosexuality where it's like Oh, you're trying to um, encourage my kids to be gay? I don't appreciate that. You can't encourage anyone to be gay or straight. They either are or they are not. And the same applies to trans people too. You're either trans or non-binary or you're not. People know who they are. At a very young age, children know their gender identity and you can't like thrust them into a particular lifestyle, right? When I was young, I was making choices about my gender. For example... When I'd go to this, you know, to the store to, to pick out clothing, I would always choose like blue and more boy centric things. Not necessarily because I was thrust in, thrust into that, but because naturally that's what I gravitated to more masculine type things. I'd choose the boys toys at McDonald's, sometimes the girls toys if they were fire like Polly Pocket, you know, admittedly. But you just you kind of are who you are. Right. And these conservatives don't get it. They think that like trans people can be manufactured by hyper woke parents. But to the extent that you can force someone to be a particular way, I mean, don't you think that we'd have no gay people or no trans people? Because that's all we see. I mean, growing up, I didn't know that gay people existed because all that I saw through pop culture and mass media was heterosexuality, husbands and wives, you know, the nuclear family. And when you look at the media climate today, even though it's improving marginally, all we see is cis people. 99.99% of actors, television hosts, politicians, they are cis. So it's not like you can somehow just, I, I guess, bug someone into becoming trans. It doesn't work that way, but they think it works that way. And they, like, part of me thinks that they know that they're full of shit and she's just pandering to her audience. But it doesn't make you sound smart. It makes you sound like a dumbass to say things like this. It's just demonstrably false. I mean, all you have to do to disprove this choice narrative is ask yourself, like, what at what point did you make the decision to become straight or cis? Candace Owens would probably say, well, I've always been straight and cis. Right. So let's extrapolate a little bit, apply that to trans people, and then... Same is true for them. They were just always trans. You can try to ban trans people, but that doesn't change the fact that they are trans to their core, that they are gay to their core. So these conservatives are basically basing their hatred off of religiosity and ignorance. But either way, they're wrong and they are on the wrong side of history. And with time, they're going to realize how stupid they look. And if not, at least most of society will see how dumb and antiquated their beliefs are. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Wolf, moralist, wolf, moralist, wolf, moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.